What's up everybody? Chris here from Bold Canyon Outdoors and I just got the most exciting delivery. We just got the Traveler portable wood pellet grill from Country Smokers. So I just figured let's take a look and see what's inside the box here. We got some heavy duty packing to get through. Make a mess all over the house. here. All kinds of stuff. Oh, make a mess. So this guy is a portable wood pellet grill. So we're taking it with us on our big adventure. So let's see if I can get it out here. I know it weighs about 40 pounds. Here it is. This is the Country Smokers Traveler. So it's their portable wood pellet grill, like I said. Uh, it runs on pellets. You can smoke with it. You can cook with it. And obviously there's a bunch of stuff inside here. But let's see if I can make it look like a, a grill real quick. Obviously I've got some assembly to do. And there's gonna be lots more of this to see. But I'm just going to set this on it, if I can get through the tape, there we go. Nice ceramic coating on the grill. So you've got your pellet hopper here, so your wood pellets go in there. So we're going to be using some of their championship blend and then uh, one of the people over there said try the new charcoal blend. So we're going to use a couple different kinds of pellets. They get heated up and, and pushed down in from the hopper. You know, and then you can cook six, eight burgers on there, 63 square inches total cooking service, three and a half pounds of uh, pellets can go in the hopper. That's pretty cool. So it's portable. We can do it right on the tailgate of the trailer roo. We can take it anywhere. We can do it in the backyard. But yeah, an awesome way to take a great way to cook with you when you're out and about. Assembly is a snap. For the most part, the Country Smokers Traveler is assembled already. We do have to put the legs on a few odds and ends. So let's get to it. Now, this is a 42 pound smoker. That's lightweight in smoker terms. So it is a portable lightweight smoker, but it is still kind of heavy. So keep that in mind when you're ready to flip it over or move it, that it is about 42 pounds when it's fully assembled. So first thing we're doing is gonna flip it over and we're gonna put the legs on. So it's got these nice steel legs. So let's it sit up a little bit. Um, it attaches with the screws that are already in the body of it. So it's easy. The only tool you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Pop these guys out. Try not to knock it on the floor. Told you this was going to be easy. And just like that, the legs are on. So let's flip it back over and go on to the next step. They do come with a very comprehensive instruction manual, so I'm going with that because you can't go wrong when you read the instructions. Next up, we're going to put the handle on it. So it comes with this beautiful stainless steel handle. I just installed the handle. All it was was a couple of pre-installed screws in the handle. You pop those out, got the two little trim rings, put them in from the backside, and it's on quick and easy. All right, next up we're gonna put in the flame broiler main plate and the flame broiler slider. So the main plate is this big bad, big bad boy right here. You put it in right side first, it sits right on that ledge, and down on this little hook here. Now when you put it in, you notice this can be slanting right a little bit. That's because we wanna direct all of the drippings towards where the grease tray is gonna go. Next up, we put on the slider. So this is what lets more and less, less and more heat out of it. And this guy here, we're going to make sure we're going the right direction. Goes on just like that. Okay. Open and close the heat. Okay, grease bucket. It's the next step. This guy goes right here. We're going to loosen these two screws and slide it into place. Bear with me, I might get in the way of the camera here. Because it's on a tripod, and unfortunately I am not. Some styrofoam still stuck in there. 
head drops in like that. And tighten it up. Don't need to go too tight on this guy. It just kind of holds it in place. That way, when you want to drain it, you just take it off, drain it, put it back on. All right, there's the grease trap. All right, so the last thing we have, of course, is the grill plate. There we go. Ceramic coated, nice kind of a non-stick, beautiful finish on it. And it does have an upper rack also. So this guy you can put in sit wherever you want it. So that way if you've got something cooking down here with lots of heat and you want to keep something warm up there, you do have that upper rack option. It does clasp shut, which makes the portability even better. So there you have it. Told you assembly was a snap. I mean, it comes with most of the hard part done, obviously, from the factory. But here it is. We'll show you some up-close shots here. The Country Smokers Traveler Portable Pellet Grill. Got your temperature control and your digital readout. It does have these really nice stainless clasps on it. Keep that lid shut when you're moving it around. Actually, we'll undo those. Got your thermometer up top. Grease trap is over on the right hand side. I love the finish on it, real nice finish, stainless handle. And of course, there's your cook area. Got your upper tray, like I mentioned. Here's your three and a half pounds of pellets go in the hopper. Got your auger down in there. Yeah, it's a really nice unit. Very well thought out, very well built. I cannot wait to cook on this guy. But for now, hey, do me a favor, check out the links below. I'm gonna put some links to Country Smokers down there so you can check these out for yourself. Not only do they make the Traveler the portable grill, but they also make full-size ones for your house so you can cook a heck of a lot more uh, with a stationary smoker that you've got in your backyard. So that's it for now, everybody. Do me a favor, mash that like and that subscribe button underneath. The more likes and subscribes you get, the more cool stuff we're gonna bring you. So for Bold Canyon Outdoors, this is Chris signing off. Happy trails, everybody.